We're really excited to be showing the work of John Garrett, who is a studio artist that's been working for over 40 years. We've been representing him for over 25 years. Uh, so we're very familiar with the work and always excited when he has new material that we can exhibit. I think people will find it uh, extremely interesting because it's all material-based. And when I say material-based, what I mean is recycled or unexpected um, objects that he takes and makes artworks that really have soul and cause you to investigate and think much differently. The work that we have here spans a time of 2006 to the present date and includes work that is made of VHS tape, rebar, ties, uh, bottles, anything that you can possibly uh, think of. And what he does is he gathers these materials ahead of time and then he explores that, studies them and tries to figure out a way to reclaim them. So these recycled materials turn into something that I think are magical and very sculptural regardless of whether they're hanging in space or on a pedestal or they're on a wall. So the newest pieces that he's created for this exhibition are two that look like paintings. They're 2D works and they are actually made of denim based on flying over areas that are north of Las Cruces, New Mexico, which is where he lives. And so they're topographical in nature, looking over the fields and the agriculture and so on and so forth. He is interested in quilting, he's interested in textiles, and has always been. And so you will see immediately with the stitch work and the piecing together that there is a direct reference to what he's been interested in for over 40 years. I also find it fascinating that he is always looking and hunting for materials that people are discarding. And one thing that we all know that's been discarded is VHS tape. I can think of countless times I have walked into a resale shop and seen them stacked up and wondered what do people do with this because we don't have the players anymore. Well, he did the same thing and started gathering them and so he uses it like a fabric, like a yarn, like thread and thought, I could put this on a loom. I could weave these and I could weave them so tightly that people wouldn't know what they were. And so we have two particular pieces here. One is called Whispers and uh, the other one is called Curtains. Whispers looks exactly as I'm telling you, like a whisper of black cloud. And from a distance, you would never know that it's videotape. And Curtains is tighter. Months and months and months of putting it together on a loom in separate pieces. It looks to me like um, the side of a house or uh, a painting that glistens. And because it's videotape, it does do that. So the light actually bounces off the piece itself. So I think that is just an amazing exploration of materials. When I opened my gallery in 1994, I was very interested in material. And John was right there as a experimental basket maker at the time. And this was 25, 26 years ago. So I watched him explore baskets on a pedestal that turned into floor pieces, that turned into gigantic wall nets and quilts um, and everything you can imagine. And so because I do like to feel things and I like to see things that are unexpected, he was right up our alley and has kept that way for many, many years. The John Garrett exhibition at the Wayne Reed Gallery continues through January 25th. You can also view all of the artworks and see exhibition photographs on our website, which is DwayneReedGallery.com.